Uh, everybody pay their taxes or get their extension? <laughs> One or the other. Extension. Extension. Okay. No, nope, I got mine all done. <clears throat> um, do we need any changes to the agenda? I had a quick question on uh, the training for the ACOs. So we can talk about that later. Okay. Public. We see some public is getting here. Jack is here. You're right now. Yeah, just uh, let the trustee observe and learn. That's right. We're going to see if we can't start doing a few of each other's meetings here. To yeah, that's what our discussion was about uh, our last meeting, and I, I uh, got the long straw, so I won. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> or lost. <laughs> <laughs> he won. Right. We have a um, do we hit let's see you I know that'll be let's, so we, shall we go straight to the highway department or do we want to maybe jump around a little bit and deal with you're the you're the you're the you're the one tell us Where's, where am I? Oh, what agenda are you looking at? Fiber committee was first. I need. I can give you another one. Oh. <laughs> you got the my wrong arm, one. My arms. My arms are not that long. There you go. Okay. Man, I didn't. Okay. Okay. So I'll put the notes we put on that one, and put them right there so I can remember to look at them. Okay, fiber committee. You have a fiber committee. We have a fiber committee memo to the board, which I think you all might have received. If you didn't, I have another copy here. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Anybody else want to copy your memo? Paper, sure. Paper, you know. I just had an extra. cold down here. What's that? I see it's actually not cold down here. I'm so used to putting on eight layers of clothes. I've come with the eight layers of clothes, and it's like, oh, what? What are you doing tonight? Okay. All right. So basically, they're submitting a status report to the select board for your review and update. Um, it's going around pretty quickly as far as speed goes. The topics they've talked about are. are Kind of a straight line. How do you get high speed to every door? Mm -hmm. Yep. And then how do you weigh the pros and cons of all the options? So that's kind of where they're at. Right, which is in. Yep. Um, Carol's been helpful on that, and there's four, well, three others that are actively involved. Uh, one of the action items tonight is to consider appointing Jack Wool, who's been coming to the meetings and participating by email, but um, would fill the vacancy left by Christine Hallquist. Yep. So, if you have any questions on the memo, Carol can answer those, or I can answer those. <coughs> These are kind of called as topics arise. Um, we're almost on hold now for the legislature a little bit, I think, is one of the outcomes, because the legislature is messing around with funding and right. access to utility lines, or poles. Okay. There's some regulatory things uh, for who can attach to utility poles right now that they're thinking of loosening up a little bit. Okay. So we don't know that to the end of May, probably. June. Right, see what happens. See what the final version is, yeah. Okay. So, Carol, you got anything to offer? No, of course, all people that own the poles in this town. All the poles. They're owned by. Well, I think four or five utilities and the telephone company. Right. So it's not a, it's a smorgasbord of ownership. I think the village of High Park probably owns 80%. Yeah, I think we've got, uh, I think we've got four utilities covering High Park. Yeah. High Park and Co-op, Washington Electric. Washington Electric? Hardwood. Hardwood. Hardwood Electric. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's not Green Mountain's got a little Green piece. Green Mountain, isn't it? Yeah, Green Mountain's got a little yeah, piece. Green Mountain. Yeah. Yep. Well, well, I think it. 
I think it's great that the interest was there. We have a committee we're moving forward because it's just it's becoming more and more clear that if we don't take care of ourselves, nobody else is going to take care of us on this topic. So <laughs> it's like, okay. And now they're talking about the 5G. I love hearing these conversations out of Washington. It's going to be the 5G and the cars will drive themselves and it's 10 times faster than what we currently have. And a lot of people are going, if I could get one time faster than I have, it would be all right. You know, getting to 4G would be 20 times faster than what some people have. So it's like, okay, yeah. That's great. The rest of the world plugs along. We'll just plug along. What so, that, yeah. What does seem clear is that um, the small companies, EC Fiber, MC Fiber, or whoever, can do it far, far cheaper than than a company like Comcast. Hmm. Okay. Uh, Comcast, uh, it, it was said that it was $60,000 a mile for them to expand their service, and companies, uh, it's in the memo, um, it's in the neighborhood of sixteen thousand dollars a mile, so it's it's much cheaper, and so they need far fewer customers to sure, sure, can uh, I have to be worth to it? To be profitable, yep, yep. That's, that's much more helpful. I was going to say, I guess so. Is this something the state is looking to pay for with the federal government, or is it going to be relied on the town taxpayers having to pay, or is it? All three. Well, the state's looking at at other other funding mechanisms. Um, EC Fiber did it through a uh, communications district, um, and uh, others have done it through through private funding. Uh, so there's several different ways ways to go about it, and uh, um, through town funding um, and and taxation is is the least desirable way to do it. Thank you for doing it. So attached to that, we're going to start to appoint uh, Jack to the committee. I make a motion to, um, to, add, uh, to appoint Jack Wolf to the Fiber Committee. Second. And is there anything in particular we should know about Jack? Uh, he's he coming, is, he shows up, and he's concerned. He's, uh, it works. <laughs> I think there's some, he's a, a Navy IT person. Ooh, who's okay. off, off and out of state working in okay. Maryland. All right. Maryland. So when okay. he's here, he's he's still trying to communicate down there, but one of his problems is the low speed connection <laughs> to Maryland. Like <laughs> like back resident? Yeah. 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 So those are kind of you know, if people want to telecommunicate and even on committees, it's it's almost it gets to be a little bit harder to share information over the internet if you're not or have a webinar or something, you know, to do anything really active, you're limited to the email and some right. file sharing. But once you bump it up a little bit and want to do a little more, you end up not being able to participate, even if you're, you could be down the street more stuff. So you're a lot of spot, spot on high park. Well, we're getting there. Um, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Okay. All right. Healthy community policy and the 3450 commitment letter. Yeah, it's a two part agenda item. There's uh, paper copies here of the policy. If anybody needs a separate paper from your packet, it's the same document. Okay. Yeah. If you would. Jack, do you want one? Sure. So, Thank you. This, oh, is yeah. The, yeah, yeah. this is the policy that would apply uh, to whatever the select board has their control of yeah. properties and parking lots and parks, those kind of thing. And it sets out on behalf of the community goals for healthy living. So you're, you're in your role as a select board, you're, you're making statements about what you perceive to be in the best interest of the whole community. So you're not picking on anybody, you're just making statements about alcohol, drug, vapor, e-cigarettes, those kind of things. Uh, then you take the next step in the same in this policy of setting some policies like do not smoke in the town property, do not drink alcohol unless you're regular, you know, under a caterer license, you know, those kind of things. And then we apply it to physical items like a sign at the rail trail. Right. So that will be happening later this summer, but we want to get the 
policy adopted first as a first step to have the board really think about setting those standards and then there's ways you can actually implement them incorporate them into the town plan in the next revision um, put up signs have the uh, ordinance is always an option you know you can actually get a little strict on this stuff but then that begs the enforcement right you got to enforce it right so right now it's more of a passive uh, self-enforced objective here with signage and policy and trying to get the word out and encouraging other folks whether it's the school district or businesses to do the same thing one of the things that was hanging from your march discussion was setting a distance of no smoke from, right, from entryways to public buildings right. the state law for state buildings is 25 feet and if you go down UVM in the morning and drive Main Street into downtown, which I've been doing lately, you'll know that the allowed spots for smoking are up on Main Street away from all the state and school buildings. So you have a pod of two or three people usually, sometimes with a cigarette, you know, receiver or something, and sometimes or not. But that's what the policy kind of, that's the impact of the policy, those few people generally, because it's smoking is pretty low percentage anyway. Um, have to leave the building and go out for their break <laughs> away from the building. So I didn't know if you, you had thought about that in the last month or if that's something you want to leave for another day or whatever. So that, that was the only issue in the policy that I didn't really bring forward in this draft here right. from, from your right. comments. Right. That was unresolved. You know, so we can do whatever you want. Could be 100 feet, could be zero, could be two. Right now it's zero. We don't have anything on it. Yeah, we could. How many smokers do we have? Uh, <laughs> we have we have people that chew, we have people that smoke, and those are the kind of the two things. I think at both facilities, or all three, I don't, I really don't know. I know but it would apply to public too, so visitors right. would have right. to. I know, you know smoker here. I know we've got a couple chewers up up there, up there. And then visitors to those facilities would have to stop at 25 feet if right. you pick a number. Right now, they have to stop at the door. Yeah. And we get butts on the walkway into the building. <laughs> so people are used to the dot in the building, town or school. They're just, they wouldn't be used to the 25 foot setback <clears throat> uh, for town buildings. <clears throat> you know, we have two in this building. Two in this building? Yeah. Now we got. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, one of the rentals. Uh, five up, <laughs> up on the hill. All two words up that way. May I? Oh, yeah. Sure. Um, so you have to tell just, people who you are. Yes, my name doing. is Valerie Wobler. I'm a resident of Hyde Park, and I also work for the Department of Health. I'm a nurse. Um, some reading I've been doing recently, um, thinking about um, public access. So when you think about the public, yes, this is a public building, but when you think about the public when they leave um, their car in the parking lot and they walk to the public building, that's, you can, you know, if you think about that as a public space, public access, you know, that might help in your some, in what you're thinking about in a, in a decision. So it's not just the minute you cross the threshold into the building. Um, and when you look at the, the law, it does talk about public access. So you can, it's a little leeway right. to interpret, interpret that. that. But if you go town-owned buildings and stuff, you're going to have to go to town-owned property. And these guys out plowing snow and in the morning. If you do it to if you do it to the village, I'm going to have to start to the properties. You're going to also also have to say vehicles <coughs> because <coughs> excuse me, the vehicles are property. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I think our policy says nothing in vehicles. Yeah, it does. I think, I think they already can't smoke. Yeah, I read it. I read it in vehicles. there. Okay, the personnel policy. Yeah. Or I read I, whatever I it in this. Yeah, this package right. in this yeah, package. Right. Some are proposed, some are proposed. I'm not sure the second one is too. Yeah, second one too. But you know, you've got to be careful with that because. <coughs> so, Mark, we'll just. We'll so, just leave so, it alone right now. It's just entry right now. Get people used to the other, you know, again, we'll have stuff on the rail trail. You yeah, know, but you can't do it on the rail trail and say uh, no tobacco use because chewing is tobacco use on the rail trail. So the, the language in the current town policy for vehicles says smoking within town-owned vehicles 
may be prohibited by the supervisor and is not allowed when two or more individuals are in the vehicle. That's all. Mr. Covert. Yeah, I think that's. So that's what they're supposed to be used to doing now. But I right. really have. I've been in a few vehicles, and I don't think they do it inside vehicles. I don't. Smell that. Exactly right. Chewy cat. I'm, hi, I'm Jessica Bickford, and I'm on from Healthy Memorial Valley. And I think one of the intents of at least the, the entryway of the building is that others won't have to uh, be exposed to secondhand smoke. So that would be the rationale for you know creating some clear entryways. So if you do have somebody right. who doesn't want to be exposed to that or has a health issue where it will negatively impact them, that they can clearly access your building. Where do our smokers go now? Down on the back. 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 Down on Because at least going out there, it's a covered shelter. Yeah. I'm like, well, nobody comes in from there. So. But, but really, yeah, exactly that, right. Nobody. That's if not they're going out the front, yeah. If they're going out front right. here, then somebody coming in would. Can right. you what? Uh, can you can you protect ourselves by putting a the sign there? It's not an entrance. It's not protecting, or or it's the maybe maybe what we need to do is put a cigarette saying. You know, it's, it's when you, here's the building and here's the walkway and put the cigarette thing to put out your cigarettes out here. Mm -hmm. As opposed to having it be near the door. Sort of one of those subtle ways because people are coming in and they're used to getting rid of their cigarette before they come in the building if they're still smoking. So if you put them. So if somebody's going out, right they're going to get that whiff of that smoke if, you, if they come up to, they don't put it out before they get to the door and somebody comes out. While they're coming in, you're, you're still yeah, exactly. going to get that. Right, right. Still going to get that smoking. Doing, doing the entryway, or why setting a distance away from the building. Yeah, so right. But I, I don't. I, it's it becoming more commonplace. Yeah, it'll, it'll take yeah. time. It'll yeah. take People time. Are, yeah. used to this. <clears throat> and, and I do want to say, I, this, this is an, an amazing piece of work. I, I think. Um, you know, policy. Right, so very nice job. On yeah, it. really nice job. Thank and you. Um, you know, this is an opportunity to do some public education for our, our community here in Hyde Park. And and I can guarantee that um, if if this is shared, that other towns will be looking at this and yeah. okay. and wanting to adopt something similar. Um, you know, and it's it's an iterative process, and and it's a process. So um, even though we would love to see all kinds of of, I mean, I personally would um, love to see more, but I think I really like I really like what this is the tone that this is giving. So, um, thank you all for really um, really so Ron put considering that. this. <laughs> A lot of back and forth emails here. Um, yeah, because I again our approach and from when we talk to you as you look at it, it's it's we're not going to do ordinances because you get into enforcement and it's more just becoming the social norm, getting people educated about it. That's why I'm sort of I'm uh, on the entrance thing right now where there are two smokers and then they couldn't smoke on the back porch, so we're in the bad way. They're going to make them go someplace. <laughs> they're going to go sit in their cars and fill their cars up with more smoke, right? It's like oh, there's a bad plan. So I don't I don't know. No, I, have no, I have no problem with anybody else. And I'm not don't smoke or I don't chew. I'm not saying didn't use that, but uh, if they do, they gotta have a place to go take a break, right? And these guys, we can't tell these guys that they can't chew with the driving the truck because they're going to anyways. The hospital, you can't even. My wife can't even smoke on their land up there. Oh yeah, right, right. right. National right. life, right. Yeah, you gotta yeah. leave the property. Yeah, lots of yeah. it, right. So, right. was the same way. No, so smoking on sale. So it's a tough yeah. situation. I mean, you know, you got. Yeah, I got field days. I have a problem because some people easy. don't put the cigarette out till they get to the window almost. Sure. Then the girls exactly. inside are complaining because yeah. it's blowing yeah. in there. Yep. So we're we're trying to do a midway free this year of smoking okay. and. Yep. Um, Maybe I'll put some signs out a little further, put your butt out here. Um, watch your language. 
<laughs> the cigarette box. <laughs> you, all of you are thinking. <laughs> no spinning beyond this point. Yeah. Uh, it's not, not five just the spinning. It's it's a smoke that yeah, that, that, that blows right. through those little windows and stuff. Right. And um, right. So what would we like to do about the distance? We want to just leave as as is right now and. Try a couple of subtle things like maybe putting a cigarette thing out there because we can come back and amend it. And, yeah. as, and as people get used to this, then push it a little bit more because this is where I think a lot of people are going to be. Yeah. We can already hear them. Some people go, oh, yeah, yeah. And other people go, yeah. It's a start. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I think, I think it's a good start. It's a nope. good general policy and it's supporting good health Just like recycling. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Okay, so we'll. We'll, we'll skip distance right now. Yeah, it's not in there, so yeah. you can adopt yeah. that. So uh, we April can just 15th adopt the draft is yeah. final, and then, then, we can always then change start it. put signs up and just right. see how it goes and what the reaction is. It shouldn't be much, to, I mean, practically, because you're not going to be in anybody's face. But right. somebody still might question the sign saying no vaping on the trail. You know, then you can say, hey, we don't want to see it, but policy for the town says no. So it kind of it's sort of ends there. Versus if right. they want to come to the board and make a plea for vaping on the trail, they can approach you. That's true. So that's that would be a good discussion, too. Okay. So can I have a motion to accept the policy? So move. Second. Okay. Any more discussion? <clears throat> All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Okay. I don't give them a chance to abstain. We just yes or no. <laughs> um, okay, the uh, the ATV ordinance. Thank oh, you. So oh. the 3450 commitment. Oh, sorry. Right, the commitment letter. Right. So that is it's a general statement. It's very uh, essentially you could say it's the same as this. You know, it's a general statement that you are supporting um, that. By signing this, whoever signs this, that they're stating that they support healthy um, living in terms of physical act supporting opportunities for physical activity, access to healthy foods, and reducing tobacco smoke. So it's the exact same thing as what you just signed, right. and right. and you would be the first town in Lamont County that's three four fifty signed. So um, of course, I would love to see that too. So. More standing? Not yet. I haven't yet. They're on, you know, it's like one of those things. It's, it's, but by signing a, so there's the community. Um, How come the signs are down the octopole and stuff like that? It's similar, it's the same thing as the signs that, that um, you folks are <coughs> getting the rail trail. So, um, yeah, I mean, it's, a lot of places are doing a lot of the elements that are encouraged in the 3450. Um, but the signing, people are just, they want to make sure that they're either doing absolutely everything or they want to make sure they have a little level before they sign. But a commitment letter is, is um, outside of the levels. It's just stating that um, because you are an entity that has more than um, just yourselves, you know, you have the, the road crew and you have other entities working under that a commitment letter fits well because it's just a general statement that you are supporting um, wellness. You know, as a Ron, thinking about the the better connections mm -hmm. grant and this the stuff we're starting to get going, just makes me think. You know, the three four fifty stuff because we're tying it. We're talking about the thing about Hyde Park and the rail trail mm -hmm. is you can you can come in one place and come around through the village and trying to get more people into the village and a variety of things and now we have some place and doing some historical things and with our better connection grant we're coming up with a with a crew and seeing a bunch of them and seeing if we can't through the summer do a good monthly event and the rail trail folks are doing something the middle of June in Johnson and Morrisville and we're going to work with them to do additional events but something you know I, I got to recruit you onto that committee that's my solution <laughs> to get, to get um, you know, but it just sort of would tie into, because you've got people on the rail trail into, and there's some talk about can we down in the, in the villages, it's all starting to spring to life here, 
um, you know, maybe have a farmer's market or talking about doing an event with food trucks that could be, you know, food trucks don't have to be junk food. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of them are really good food, but to figure out how to tie some of this yes. 450 yes. into it as well. Yeah. Would be, again, it's just all good. And we, and we have a library Thank who's, thanks, Carol. who is uh, happy to work with us on those variety of things. So. Yeah, no. it's, a, it's another opportunity to celebrate. Yep. To celebrate yep. and to get recognized on the health department website that you are a 3450 partner. Right. <coughs> what do you think? Want to do something wild and crazy and sign a commitment letter? Doesn't say you have to be healthy. Just says you support healthy ideas. <laughs> I don't pick on Dave. <laughs> I was going to say, it can't be much of a celebration. You can't drink or smoke. Oh, yeah, I heard it. Do you have any concerns? You know, if you have concerns about it, we can, we can wait and do it. But I think, it, I think it's a good idea, though. No. You know, I have no problem right. with it. Super. You okay with it, right? Yep. Super. Okay. You need a motion to sign the letter. I just make a motion for Susan to sign the letter yeah, for the. I second that. Okay. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Okay. Very much. All right. And Ron, do you have a cup? Do you have one that you can have sign? Yep. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so he always has copies. That's no, we're good. good. That's right. <laughs> I do need to talk to you, Val, about um, yes. some Ron of this committee has, stuff that has said. Yeah. So, yeah. And I, yes, I would love to be on the um, yeah, in the in the big Yeah, yeah. I think we got some got some good energy developing in town. And, and have you all been to the new cafe? Not yet. Oh, yeah, we've got to do it. I need to go. I've been meeting to. Yeah. Okay. Now. The ATG ordinance. This is your thing. Whatever, whatever happened to that when it was supposed to come to tell me? Well, they never showed up. No. They no, no. Well, said they didn't have to because no, we no, would no, and just sit right. Everybody was yeah. happy with it. Oh, there okay. weren't any, there weren't any issues. Okay, uh, Shannon has uh, emailed Ron that there was a point sixty point six yeah, five something. miles on Battle Road that they want to add into that that way because they got a trail coming up on East Johnson. And that's the only way they can get to it. They can get there, right. Oh, okay. So they just need this added to their stuff, yeah. right? And, uh, uh, I did have a meeting. Where is or it? I went to their uh, uh, Green Mountain ATV, their, their meeting there. Yeah, okay. And talked to them and, and told them, I said, I don't want you guys to be police officers, but if we have any complaints, especially if you come out of, out of your club, we will consider taking that away and stuff. So they said they're going to yeah. help us patrol yeah. it. So. Yeah, I think they've all gotten yeah. very good about doing that sort of stuff. And last time I heard, they were going to put uh, a bunch of ATVers together and uh, do some green up and hike back. For oh, the, 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 great, green up day. Yep. Show their appreciation. That's very nice. Yeah, that's terrific. So that's terrific. that being said, uh, I'd like to make a motion that they add that point sure. six five miles on Battle Road to the uh, uh, I don't want to say the to their existing plan. We're going to amend the 2019 yeah. ATV ordinance that was adopted okay. yeah. in March. We're going to amend it now to amend it to add that Barnes Road section. Add the Barnes Road section. Oh, 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 it's Barnes Road. Okay. Oh, sorry. Battle hey, Road. Well, it's Battle Road. That's Where Battle Road. Road is it? It's uh, from it's from Barnes Road to East Johnson. Yeah. That gotcha. little section over gotcha. the bridge. I got oh. it. I got yeah. it. Okay. Yep. That's gotcha. That's only way to go that way. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yes, that would be helpful, wouldn't it? Okay. Um, did we have a second? Second. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Okay. Oh, they've, been, they've been very helpful. Liquor licenses. Hey, you skipped one. No. Request for a letter of support from the friends of the Model Valley Real Trail. Uh. So now what agenda do I have? <laughs> No, I got my package is listed as page one. Put your yes, yeah, I got the right one. I don't mind the one. Well, I'm six. Six. I'm sitting here. Yep. You're sick. I'm, no, no I, th I got I got one from there. Do you have your package? Which is this one. Why would I have that? I don't know. It's got the agenda in it. 
Ja, ja. 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 Go on vacation, you just you can't keep the paper together. It's terrible. Okay, the request for the letter of support for this is their grant that they are um, applying for. Well, yeah, and and actually it was with Nancy that this they've they've been going through some restructuring, and the person that had been doing a lot of their work has moved on and off to something else, so they're. They're uh, kind of regrouping and trying to do a push. And as I say, they, they're, um, it's, we figured out it's graduation weekend, Father's Day weekend. It's like the 15th and 16th of June. Mm -hmm. They're doing a big events all along the trail to get awareness and education about the trail and try to do some fundraising. So they got people walking and biking the trail, you know, and raising money for the miles and everything they walk. And they are looking for. They already had Johnson and Morrisville are uh, are doing events around it. So I'm sure Morris will be do, doing something down at Oxbow. I don't know where, but Johnson is doing stuff. So we with with the with our better connections and trying to figure out things to do in the town and the village. That that's a perfect time to sort of tap into a larger group doing organizations. And so we're looking at doing some fun things, particularly that Saturday get folks up off the trail and through the village and talk about doing some nice historic things and I, again just to, just to get people thinking about coming up off the trail and going to work and getting them up into the village and of course in our new uh, our our new cafe is all excited about doing something so we figured we'd we'd come up with something so if you come up and do a little checkpoints and you get a little thing then you know that would help them earn miles that they're for raising money for the trail or something. We're working as the committee to figure something out. But thought, okay, this is a this is a good time to see if we can't get some some community things going like that again, attached with somebody else. And and then the the goal of that committee, if the first one works well and we get a good group of folks working together, is to then in the we know in July there's already the ice cream social. So to figure out something that we can build on the ice cream social and, and you know and help do that. In August there was there was talk and the restaurant is interested, maybe we take a weekend and we bring in a variety of food trucks or you know, to just do some kind of fun celebrations. And then of course in September there has been, you know, home days. So seeing if we can't and and the community circle folks are they're struggling because there's like a, a lot of us groups, you know, we've got people that have been doing it for a long time and they're getting tired of doing it and trying to recruit some more groups into it. So we're going to see if we can't get some new people involved in it and some new energy and instead of people working in little silos, maybe pull everybody together as one one larger group. And this is sort of, you see that, and that includes, you know, the softball folks who have been in there world and it does their own thing but like that's a tremendous asset that Hyde Park has that like if you don't have to play softball you don't even know that exists you know and that's just like oh how do we how do we start to let people even people in Hyde Park know that there are a lot of good fun things going on that's why I think this idea of, of, of the you know the whole 3 4 50 all these kinds of things can tie together to, and to start to build up on the idea that Hyde Park is a fun family place to be and having a lot of good fun things for families to do to try to develop that sort of thing. And the school is all excited about working with us actually and the junior high is getting excited too. So if we can, the key is going to be getting young families with kids involved to help replace all us old people that are doing everything. <laughs> So, and, um, and they are, uh, besides doing that project, they're doing a, uh, they're applying for a big grant to help do some planning and organization and help develop um, marketing strategies for everybody along the trail in promoting the trail and how to really use the trail as economic development for the, the entire length width of the state. Again, it's just like, you know, the snowmobilers. If we can figure out better ways and we have some place up here that they can actually come, 
I've always said 10, 10 railroad was, when that was all happening and the trail going through, it's, it's, it's just like Lost Nation. You know, and in the summertime, Lost Nation, you see all the bicycle folks and the walkers coming through. It's like, boy, there's some real opportunities there. So, so they were just looking for um, letters of support for, you know, from the towns to say, yeah, we think, we think this would be a great opportunity. Good to me. Sounds good to you. Okay. I, I keep sending Ron emails going. I write such brilliant letters. He does such a nice job. <laughs> I say, oh, I write good letters, Ron. Can't say we're going to hurt or cost anything. They no, they, yeah, right, right. They do right, the template. Get some. They do the template. They start it. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Let's have a motion for that one. I'll sign it. He's wake him up down there. Hey. Hey. Wake your up. turn to make a motion oh. for the letter of support. <laughs> I'll make a motion we make a letter to make a letter for the support. I'll see there. No, we're not now. Number we're six. On the wrong page. Six, right. Yeah, that's right. You and I are both on the wrong page. The friends of the L V the marketing R D marketing grant application. Second. Okay. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Okay. Now can we do liquor licenses? Yes. Okay. Now you can do it. Okay. Now we can do liquor licenses. <laughs> we got to taste it first. <laughs> okay. We got to taste it first. That's right. <laughs> well, there we go. We, we only got two places in town. No, now we got three. Oh, the restaurant does? They yep. are the three. Yeah. Yeah. May yeah. First. yeah. Yeah, so we got the, the restaurant and 10 bends in the VFW. Good. Um, everybody's brought in their applications, submitted their fees. Maybe yeah. we need the. Yeah, you need to, uh, technically you've adjourned or recessed the select board and now meeting as the local liquor control board to act on these things as that <clears throat> board, not the select board. Oh, okay. So that's. You could do that as one motion to meet as a liquor control board and approve the three liquor licenses. Then you would adjourn that and pick up. We'll come back up. to this one. Okay. But, you know, all fees have been paid. The, the community check on this, and you hear about it more in Burlington, sometimes in Williston, um, uh, certainly in South Burlington, uh, the Williston Road section, uh, is the history of the operators. So the operators of each facility have to follow laws and health laws and liquor laws. And if they have a whole series of violations, Either the state or the municipality cannot sign that list and give them a permission to operate. So that's a, it is kind of a powerful business tool if you really don't like the way somebody's operating, you know, in a legal way, not right. just per perception wise, but multiple violations. Sometimes the operators of the facility might be in jail and they don't put the right person in charge, you know, you know things you might hear about, um, but it's kind of rare. You know, I think the state, you'll see it from time to time, the state will pull a license yeah. from somebody yep. Yep. for six months or 24 months yep. or somebody shot up <laughs> a gun or somebody let somebody drunk drive away. Those kind of serious yep. infractions. I, I don't think we've ever had an issue with the local liquor control board denying somebody. So that history isn't here for you guys to worry about. It's just being aware that that's your role now, you know, today, once a year. Uh, and you're not acting as a select board technically. But Okay. That's all. What's the distance of the school and this restaurant? How many feet is it? Uh, Towards sweet, sweet corn trucks. Right. It's probably a quarter mile or so. It's not that far. I don't want to think it's that far, but it's more than 500 feet, I'll tell you that. Probably, oh, yeah. Probably, probably 1,500 maybe. That's a quarter mile. <laughs> and are they, are they, <laughs> I can give you a measurement, though. They aren't a bar. Okay, so I was gonna wonder. I was no. wondering if, if do you no, think no, they're this... they're breakfast, lunch, and eventually dinner. Yeah. Oh, so well, they're gonna do dinner. Okay. Yeah. Do you think yeah. they'll? Are they talking about maybe having outside seating at any point or? Possibly. They might they have to get yeah. a license yeah. for that. Now right. Jack is gonna have trouble having a drink at his house. No. <laughs> 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 uh, the distance isn't all that much at all. It's really close. I don't know if it's, is it from buildings or property lines? That's yeah, that's, uh, that makes a big difference. 
Is there something on the permits to talk about distance to schools? I don't recall anything on that application. I can tell you in a second. So if you go to the farthest western boundary of the school property to their property line, it's like 200 feet, really close. If you go from the building itself to the other building, it's 1,000 feet. So, because their property line sticks way up into that intersection with me. Yeah, Street. right. Yeah, right. Right. School. So, I don't know which which rule you follow. But. Yeah. I'm not the policy. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> so, um, and neither am I. I'm just, you know, it just popped into my head. It's like, oh, the school right there. Yeah. yeah. I mean, one thing would be, one possible suggestion would be that you could approve with, like, restricting that signage because it is so close to a school. I don't, it probably isn't their intent to start advertising beer. No, no, you the met store. these guys. No, that's, that's, that's this is not what we're talking intent, about. But, yeah, this is, that, think, yeah. A, think of mini Charlemont, except the Charlemont used to have a bar, but this is now they don't even have a bar. This is so you can have a glass of wine or a beer with your dinner. Yeah. yeah. But that would be the, if they at some point changed ownership and wanted to or did you know, have right. signs and windows, then you're starting to yeah. increase yeah. the exposure. Yeah. Th then they would have to apply. Yes. Yes, particularly if they change the ownership, right. Yeah. Right, but this is not, you know, this <coughs> is tipped the other way. They're like, ooh, when, when we're talking about, you know, with with something, um, with one of the days they're doing they say, oh, well, we'll do, you know, we'll do cookies and free drinks for the kids and that sort of stuff. So they're, you know, we're going that. We're going in a good direction with this one. They make really good sandwiches, too. <laughs> uh, let's see. So is the liquor control what we all need to, if we um, approve them, everybody that's here needs to sign it? Uh, yeah, um, there's three of them. Right. That have to have I'll make a motion that we grant the liquor license, liquor yeah. license to three uh, places, which is 10 Ben's Brewer, uh, Distillery, BFW, and Fork and Gavel. Yeah. Second. Okay. okay. Second. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Anybody opposed? We'll keep it with Jack, we'll keep an eye on <laughs> Why not? Well, well, and that's why they're so right in the village. And yeah, I'm not worried about that. Okay, let me see. We got a sign when I looked at this, yes, we, and then she has a sign on each of them, but I realize we've got six lines there, but if you come over here, this is the disapproved. So I got a little sloppy on that one. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, make sure you yeah, sign the approved column. Yeah, right. <laughs> no, okay, just a second here. I get no point. Oh, just one copy? Well, they got, the there's several, one, oh, yeah, okay. there's, there are several there. Right. Approved. Who wrote this approved? Oh, no. <laughs> there was no more lines. No there, more so. lines. Well, see, because there's just the dash and just it's just also, it's also, also, but approved. Yeah. Yeah.
I did it right over here. Okay. Prove and disprove. That's all they are. That's a, it's still three against two. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll get it that way. <laughs> yeah, approved. Yep. There you go. What was that restaurant doing? Um, they're, they're feeling good so far. They're definitely getting plenty of people in for... For? For, uh, well, but for breakfast and doing a very brisk lunch business with yeah. lots of people doing takeout. So... Well, you know there's a lot of offices right down through that. Well, yeah, and just and people coming through and, you know, and, and people in town, as I say, we thought, well, we'll try it out. So I went in and bought a sandwich and took it home. It was a great sandwich. I know the girls over there. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Should be all set. Okay. All right, got those down for Ron. Ron you just broke it, but that's all right. Oh, God. There's always one cranky one, right? He was all a teetotal. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he wants to be ready to go out driving at the three o'clock in the morning for the snowstorm. Ugh. Uh, okay, appointments to the Town Energy Committee. Uh, we have two interested people that would like to join. They've actually been going to the meetings, so we just have okay. to get them back up to five people. There's three mm -hmm. current active members, and they need some help to get some of their jobs done. So yep. uh, Elise and Bridget are interested in serving and need your vote to appoint them. Okay. Anybody? Want to have them come in, or just happy to have them? Happy to have them. We are. We are. Well, we get. Yeah, I agree. Okay. We have a motion to appoint Ms. Clancy and Ms. Polo to the Town Energy Committee. So moved. So moved. Yeah. Second. Uh, all right. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Anybody opposed? All right. The, our, to approve the vendor list. This is a... I, know little, we did I don't know which one to do that. The, every year we have to approve it so that you have a chance to look at who town does business with. And if anybody had any objections to any vendors, contractors, businesses, Snell, well, no, I mean anybody else, then you say, whoa, yeah. whoa, whoa, yeah. We, I know something about these folks. We need to talk about it. And that's this is the time to do that, and we could yank them off the okay to do business list. But you know, it's a it's sort of a public process. We want to support local businesses, but if there's right. somebody that's uh, performing badly after oh. any warnings or something, you know, you'd have to have a. Most people are pretty responsive to any town concerns because they want to do business with the town. But if there was somebody that we really had a concern with, we would talk about it and decide whether to right. pull it. So there's couple hundred on that list so if you're not thinking of anybody it's probably a good thing <laughs> if you are thinking about somebody you can check that list which is right in the town office every day and okay. just see if they're working with the town does a good job yeah I remember last year we took a little time going through it just sort of you, 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 the, you the guys who would know them all that one wouldn't that one wouldn't mean do you really want to sit here for two hours and go through this one by one you know, I say that's, that's why it's sort of here. Yeah, but to make a motion on it now. Yeah, we only we approve it once a year, and then it changes all year. So if you had a <laughs> yeah, if you had a concern right. at any time, you could revisit this. This is just a snapshot of who who we're doing business with right now. You can take that home date and look at it too. It's not. It's we have another copy upstairs. So if that's a something okay. you want to spend time on. Usually, make the motion. So, we have David spend time on it. And bring it back. <laughs> well, if you're supposed to approve it in April, I would I would have the motion to take it home, and if he okay. has anything, bring it back in May. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I mean, I, I guess my question was not to prove it, but what do some of these people do? What in the world is a Billings Billings Fireman Museum? Uh, programming for the library. They'll come up and do a program for us, but before we convey them, they have to get on the list. 
There's just so many that we don't. Oh, I know. No, no, that's what I meant. That's what I meant about if you had heard something. Well, it's it's usually the, the department's place to do the complaining if they're. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, have no, right. like I have no problem with good weather. I have nothing no, bad about anybody. Right. Yeah, me neither. No, you want to no, look no, at no, that? I've already got one. I mean, yeah, right. Because I'm you know, sure it's going to be the department head that's going to say. Yeah, some department head may come to you and say, "We can't do business. Take them off. Right, done with them. Right. Or you may have heard something. Yeah, that's right. Or you may have heard something on the street that you want. Just you said about that. Everybody to be aware of. I don't know. Maybe that would be up to Amy. Yeah, it's up to the department head to report back to us and then. Right. Done. Right. And I make a motion to approve the 219 vendor list. Second. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 With the footnote that we'll have Dave check it, right? Okay. Anybody opposed? All right. Okay, appointing Carol. As the uh, town LEPC rep. And Brad is the LEPC alternate. One of the uh, emergency. Now that means that Brad is stepping down from that board. The board, and Carol is going to be the head person for the for that committee for the local emergency planning committee. Is oh, the not, not 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 the uh, no. The three other emergencies are going to stay the same. The okay. director, yeah. coordinator, and deputy okay. are staying the same. Carol's just more able to get to meetings than Brad is, and yeah. Brad knows about it, and Ed knows about it. It's just we have to get an official appointment from the board. Okay. No. Sounds good to me. Make a motion. Yeah, I'll make a motion that we appoint yeah. Carol and all of the the town emergency. <laughs> what do you want to call it? Emergency planning. A representative for the town. Representative. Uh, and have Brad Courier as her alternate. Second. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Anybody opposed? It's great to have her in town with all that experience huh? that she has. Bear, oh. Fennel. 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 Like yes, a, as like a, a young deer. deer. Like a deer, right? Right. Fennel. Fennel. Yeah. Fennel. 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 Okay, review the minutes. I know. Second. Second. Uh, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Okay. I just want you to know, Jack, we are never this fast. You have I want you to come to more meetings. <laughs> We're been a spike must have inspired us tonight. We're like, whoa, all right. Well, that last one we had everything. I may else. be here a couple more times in the future. <laughs> It's just good for Oh no, I agree. Well, and I'll see if one of us can't start getting to your meetings too. Um, okay. Oh boy. 
town orders. Town oh, orders. I need a minute. You want to hit this, you Susan, need... first? We want to do that first, <coughs> well, or we can. It's up to you. It's all to you. No, I don't. I was just going to sort of get that stuff done, and then we're. I need I need minutes on the town orders before you start. Orders. You need minutes. One minute. One minute. Oh, I got you. Okay. So it's all a little right. different process. We're gonna yes. Try. So, and I have a couple more after, so we can we can do. A, I don't know what you want to do. Do this now and get out of the way, or do you want to skip to the green stay oh, other it's, it's, I just don't want to forget that. No, I'm no, sorry. no, no. We're not. We're not going to forget that. It's on a list. If I get a little cheat sheet, which is a modified. I had emailed out a list um, package. If you want to call it the invoice package earlier, right. one of the things we had uh, proposed was putting it online, which is not going to happen. It'll just be email distribution, so department heads and select board okay. members can have time to look at it. Yeah. Um, so that's a sort of a request from staff to the select board. So when we get to this point in the meeting, sometimes you'll have three, four bundles of invoices. Right. And you're supposed to look at each one and sign each warrant. And then the day after, which is Tuesday, the treasurers will send out the check. So this modified version is sort of an, is an overlap because you have some old stuff there that you see. Um, as well as what mm -hmm. Susan has in front of her, which is the new process. So the new process to try to reduce the 15 to 20 minutes that you spend passing around those bundles is one bundle, which is what Susan's holding right now, and one warrant, and one signature from each of you. Only important and useful if you take the time when you see the invoice package come in your email to open that up and look through the first four or five pages, and you'll see all the proposed checks that are going to go out. It's all the stuff yeah. that we usually see here. Right. But it's if the we same. don't do that at home, then we just come in and we don't have to sit here. For well, at, after that short summary is all the invoices. Right. Now, so. yes and good and bad. Well, that's right. I have mixed here, so yeah. I do not like the idea of having what the town pays on the website where everybody can see no. it. Oh, I opened with that. I said it's there. not there. It's not there. It's not there. No, it's gone. It's, it's gone. I said, no, so we're I... not doing it there. So, but oh. you'll just email it to us. So yeah. this memo that I just handed out says not on right. the website, Steve but it will, will we be. A, well, we had a dis it will be emailed, but I left them home. It was, it was the, I had the same thing. I got it from Ron. I said, no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. no said, oh my God. Excuse me, Ron. It, it would, yeah. it could add an hour and a half to every meeting. Yeah. So People we're trying to move beyond that. Yes, so anyway, right. the, the plan is that you board members as well as department heads will get this summary of what's going to happen. So they, right. over the month, they've been giving us invoices. And sometimes you lose track of a $2,000 thing that you thought you had, but you didn't know you submitted it already. Yeah. So on wet Thursday night, Allison will put this little package together and send it out. So the department heads will have in their inbox everything that they've coded. And they have that forever. If you go down a month or two down the road and say, geez, what do we pay uh, John, John Manash? You just open up that month's invoices and you can have right there. the detail for you. Technology. So it's up to us to read those. Yes. Yes. Right, to save the time at the meeting. Right. <coughs> yeah, yeah, that's the point. We'll still have all the information. You should have the whole, I go for that. Well, mm -hmm. and what's, oh, yeah. what's nice about it is when you see this is it's in alphabetical order. Yeah. So when, if you want to go back and look for stuff, you, want to find you a can find later. it, yeah. <laughs> you know, because I remember sometimes we've been here and there's been a question and I go, yeah. like, hmm, where, where, the, you know, right. where the pages, you know. And so that's so, the goal, but it's a two-part goal. Like, if, yeah. if we want to know what, uh, that time we paid $2,500 last that strobe light. You'd see yeah, the invoice. Yeah, exactly, right. right. But yeah, you'd have that right. in your package. That's right. Fr yeah. Friday, you could open it and right. find the own invoice uh, yeah. yourself. Remember right. how it was yeah. listed? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, right. Yeah, there's nothing worse for staff at a meeting, like at this type of meeting, to, to have a question that could have been answered an hour earlier. But yeah. So this way, if we have, you know, you know, if we have questions, we can just email right back and say, you know, so how much did we pay for that strobe light? I mean, right. what does this strobe light do? You yeah. know, oh, no, that was $25 of the $2,000 bill. Right. Here's everything else, but it didn't show up. And this is, and again, if you look at this and say, oh, yeah, this is, this is really nice because, and again, you get them, but it's all nice and in alpha, so you can see how, how much money we spend on each one each time. It's, and so then, but again, it's in 
yeah. coming on us to take the time to do the homework before. Mm -hmm. So we'll get it the Friday and before we'll we come into a meeting. Roger's delivered by carrier pigeon. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> he gets his three weeks late because it's so slow. <laughs> <fun. laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I, on Friday you'll have an inbox. Yeah, you know, with your, with your packet. Yeah, he'll yeah. just right. get a paper version of. Hey, yeah. You know, the Bump. only reason I want to do a whole bunch of papers that can be a hundred pages long. Yeah. Right. The digital file is a couple of megabytes, and you just scan through it real quick, and you can get what you need. Most of it you won't need. Obviously. So, yeah. Right. So when I open my one at home, right? Yeah. Uh, it, it, in, it's going to look like this, right? Right. Will it also tell me what vehicle it's charged to? And it, will I have a list? Will yeah. I have so it? if you're right. Will I have the picture of the invoice? Yeah. After that. After. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah, so this is like the top couple of sheets, and That's then everything else is underneath it, which is why you don't want to print it out. Right. Yeah. Yeah. If you look on those lines, Dave, you'll see. Uh, if you pull up, um, what the heck's in there? There's one that. Oh, oh, Shane. Shane the welder is S on that list that you're holding. I don't know what page it's on, but if you look for Shane's okay, go to the end Shane and find Earl Shane. welding, you see $2,400 for Shane. Or S. 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 Yeah. S or E. Yeah. W for you welding. You got it. <laughs> Shane Earl. Yeah, okay. Chloride tank deposit. 50% chloride tank deposit. Yeah. Yeah, so building the box. So does and the for the truck. To yeah, right. But he just that's what it shows that's on there now. So so even see. even the summary can kind of get right to what that money's for. And then if you want to see more, you go you scroll down through that file and find your invoice. Yeah, right. Because you'd have the invoice number, and then you just flip through till you get to the invoice. Cool. It should be. It should. It should be very good at meetings and good for you to spend time, follow your department head, wonder why there's Yeah, it actually 24. gives us more time, right. Yeah, because you know, I'll go down through here and uh, and I use this mostly, you know, beep, 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 sales and equipment, labor for building some hoses, hydraulic hoses, $123.29. We got a hydraulic machine up there, why didn't they build their own hoses? They can but only build to a certain inch. What is that one? Say. No one's safe. That's why I'm asking if it says what it is. Well, Susan has it. <coughs> Susan uh, has the backup. Yeah. <laughs> no, but on, on the computer, I'll be able yeah, to. Yes, yeah, right. all, all, all this will be on the computer. So, what. Um, oh, we did this once before. What. Uh, what do I need? What's the, That's what's the, the number? That's 494. 27 0 20 52 19. Okay. 27 0 0 20 52 19. I mean anything to you? Well, it don't now, but you want you to look that up. Then yeah, but I'm saying on the computer, I'll be able to go right down through there and yeah, see what right. size it is and yeah. who's charged. Right. I mean, it's it's funny that. piece of equipment. Yep. We'll, we'll, we'll work that up. Yeah, I think it'll work. We'll yeah. work that up. You? Yeah, well, we, we had thought about doing it a while back, but it was just it, the, the system that we're doing with the finance director is, is helpful in the sense of thinking about things, how to get it done now. Right. Because that's a person that's going to work directly for you. Um, yeah. That's good. The old system, we had those four or five warrants, and they, they were they were okay, and you knew the bundle for library or fire. Right. But it takes about almost forty five minutes to dismantle that and run through the, co oh, the right. copier. So it's not free. It's not a free report, but it, but it's so helpful for the history. That every department will have every <coughs> invoice that they ever paid. Right. And, and that's going to be similar to the road work. When you the have a coding a, system that we yeah. want to go to, right. Yes. Yeah, that's a different system. It's the same idea. It's to quantify same those idea. things right. by a code well, so you can get access to it well, later. They should be picked up for $4,000 worth of emissions. Yeah, down to McMahon's. D-E-F, yeah. or whatever that is. No. <laughs> it's in the emissions. <clears throat> What's a DOC? Yeah, the DOC and the DEF and the yeah. money out of your pocket. Emissions. Yeah, yeah. You know, that'd be a good idea, Ron. That way you can. Well, it's still a trial, so as you as next next time it'll be a little bit more fine tuned for for uh, May. But in the interim, you know, we'll just let it ride for a couple months. And if you're not liking something or whatever, let me know. We can tweak it a little. I like it. Numbers. Cool. Mm -hmm. yeah, no.
Yeah, well, that's an, and and so we'll all sign what we will all end up with just having to sign one thing. Yeah. Yeah. So you can. Uh, is that the one that signed that you took yeah. off the top? There? Yeah. yeah. So we want to start it now. Yeah. 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 Well, this is the first time everybody just sort of takes some time to look at it and get familiar, and we'll. Yes. Yeah, so when I get when I get the first one and open it up, it will be. Yeah. So the plant, the way we'll go next time, you know, get to town orders, and then Susan or whoever the yeah. chair will look at me, and I'll say that pile of orders is what you received on Friday. Right. Yeah. Or this is revised. We had to add two. Mm -hmm. And then we'll talk about those two. But otherwise, you should have had ninety-seven percent of them, or hundred percent, by the week prior. Let me get that one more time. Just now, will, will, will it be broken down? It's all by, broken down by vendor. But it's not broken down by fire department. By it's not grouped like that. No, it's no. one warrant for everything. If you look at the right column, you'll see the uh, 10 code, 20 code, 30 code, 40 yeah. code. Right, yeah. tells you what. Yeah. The 20 is highway, 40 is library. 30 is the fire. But this, this is broke down by the way the checks were wrote. Uh, that is put in the order by invoice. By date And then group by vendor. Okay. Yeah, so it's all about paying those yeah. vendors. That's it, man. Yeah, that's Thank right. You. Right. So if you're looking for fire, then you look at the, I don't know, it's the second column yeah. from the left, from the right in, you'll see the 10, 20, 30, 40. Yeah. That tells you what department it is. There's a lot of paperwork. Yeah, it does. I, I'm, I'm more about the accessibility for people that need to find information very hard without this kind yeah. of research. Yeah, yeah, I think it's it's going to be a lot easier to... A lot quicker at the meetings and sitting here. And, yep. Yeah. Especially when we want to go into the executive or something, we have to wait for the him to film us just signing the oh, mail paper. Yeah. And it doesn't... It doesn't make us look good as a yeah. board. We don't have time to. Be, I like to see what we're paying for. Right. Yeah. 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 You know? yeah. You feel okay taking the yeah. time sitting at home right. when you've got all the information, and if you want to spend yeah. an hour, you can spend an hour, get right. a cup of coffee, and say, okay, here's what you know. Yeah. No, I think it all works fine. So we got to keep these together with that pile. <laughs> <laughs> In the three places, uh, don't get it. Now there was a there was a transitional packet of stuff that Susan was looking at, uh, which I that's right, that's which I think right might there. need more signatures. Yes. But yeah, that would just that's um, I think that's just the okay. That one's all done. There are the liquor all licenses. Copies. Okay, Good. yeah, packet liquor licenses. Delivery. Okay. combination of doing the warrants this way and then with the other information that we want we're going to end up being able to pull up a very accurate picture of where the money is spent the vehicles it's being spent on how much time is being spent on things you know that just it gets to the gets help to you know to making decisions but also for everybody, what's efficient, what isn't oh. efficient, what's saving money, what isn't. I mean, if, if this stuff comes through it, you can look at it, you're looking at the dollars. You don't look at the five dollars and the ten dollars and the twelve dollars. Right. I don't anyway. I'm looking at the four figures coming yeah. down through. Yeah. But that still don't tell me what it is right. or where it went right. without going through that whole package. Right. This would, yeah. be, right. this would be really yeah. good. Yeah.
In the past, uh, uh, Kim has tried to encourage board members to come in and sit down and look through right. it. But that's all, almost like another get five people all to do that is a little hard. It's easier yeah. to do it this way. So I think that well, answering Roland's question, I think it's always been there, but this is just one way to make it sort of easy. Yeah. On your side, you know what I mean? Plus it creates a good record of the invoices for you know, history purposes. So we'll try for a while and go from there. Okay, so I guess we need a motion to approve motion and accept. Motion to um, accept the town orders. Second. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Okay. Now. Roger, you wanna? Okay, this is on cross training. I had a meeting with the guys this morning. Mark uh, LaHoyer came. Oh, okay. And uh, how's he doing? He's feeling pretty good. Good, good. good. Yeah, it's come along a little faster than what I was inspected. To. And everybody on board for the cross training did not have any negative from good. anyone. Good. Uh, they thought it was a good idea, but the thing was, of course, they brought up, of course, they're looking out for us, the board, taxpayers, this is great, we want to do it, how are we going to find the time to do it? Uh, you know, that was their number one. Yeah, that was, yeah. And I said, well, we're just going to have to work out some sort of a program. Yeah. That's the only way we can do it. But uh, as far as anybody stepping up to the plate and want to learn how to run a grader, well, that one there was kind of way out <laughs> over here. Yeah. But as far as a backhaul, uh, if anybody needs more experience with the loader, uh, you know, they can do that in the pit once it thaws out and dries out some, uh, just to get used to things a little faster, a little quicker. Mm -hmm. uh, but nobody really, Mark French has come along pretty good on the grader. He needs some more training. Uh, he's Mark has showed him, showed him some things, and he, from last year, starting out this year, uh, he's doing a, he's doing a little better. Yeah. Okay. But so it was a good, it was a really good, good meeting. Everybody's on board. Did you talk about this looking at you know going to the to the work coding system like the state does? No, I spoke to Mark French about it. Yeah. Uh, right, matter of fact, it was right after our meeting last week, and he, he likes it. Yeah. We don't have any problem with it at all. Right. I said, "Going to be more work on you." Either at the end of the day, they're burning in all these slips. I said, "You've got to put them in the computer." So well, it don't make it work. Yeah. Well, and again, depending on, on what we can figure out with what the new time card things might be able to do, we may, maybe we can set it up so the guys can do it, you know, right while they're out there doing it. You know, if here's here's what you're doing for your time card to the day. Here's the road you were working on. Here's what you were doing on it. You know, it wouldn't be that much more for them if there's a if if we have the ability to do that. We have the, the we the have technology. It. They, well, yeah, there's two parts of that. They know how to account for all that because they have to do it during emergencies right so they're already doing it those events so they have to just transition to their daily events and right do the same work now, right now does the state when they do theirs do, do, do they have to do it and their foreman have to sit down and do it or when they, when the they foreman has to sit down and do it every every night for he well, why can't it be that when they punch out on the computer Instead of this time thing, we just went and had them punch in and out on the computer. Once they punch it in on the computer, they could be coded right there. Right. What, what they've done. That's what we're checking out. Right. Out. That's what I'm saying. If if we can put that technology in this program, yeah, then that would be the way to do it. Right. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. They would use right. their cell phones to log in their right. their pro, uh, project number. Yeah. Yeah. So we got to. He's going to check and see if we can do that, and that would be no, great. I mean, that's a, that's right. a wonderful way of doing it. Right. We can. Right. Really time. Oh, yeah. Sure. Well, and for them too, because they've just done it, so yep. it's not, you know, it won't take them an extra two minutes a day. Right. And they, Mark has got some pad or a pad 
which I really like. And I think we'd all like it once I give you the exact, show you what it is. Maybe Roley has them. But it tell every truck driver a pad goes in their truck. Especially in the winter time on the sand and how many, salt. How many loads they take you know? How many loads? And it's all spelled right out where they can check it off. So at the end of the day we know exactly how many yards of sand they used. Yeah, I think the the ease of this data collection is a goal and so right. if they had a, right. just like well every cop car has them now you know you have that mounted laptop mm -hmm. and if the highway crew had a very simple ipad screen that's just touch you know and they have the pre preset codes right you know sanding then you might get a road name drop down menu i don't know if you want to do that because you're kind of an emergency mode but anything out of regular like an emergency uh, disaster or they're non-normal. I think there's a non there's a normal routine that they do, four hours to plow all the roads. The the data collection piece is really a control issue on what like we do with salt and the salt spreaders. If you can get the sanders data control or computer control, those will operate as efficient as possible generally. Yes, yeah, so the way salt is now. So I, we'd have to think about what tasks we're after. I guess is what I'm saying. Yeah. But that he's, I don't see any problem with a guy climbing into a piece of equipment and pushing, you know, starting my job 32 and then plugging that off when they leave. And then we'll have that truck's operation, that labor automatically collected. Right. It's really hard. I mean, that's not hard. It's not as accurate to have Mark come back and try to figure out what the heck happened over 10 hours. Right. <laughs> right. Well, like one of the guys, yeah. It's hard. Yeah, that's you know? the way to do it. So, right. That that right there would work good in a flood situation or high water or anything. Yeah. Oh, that's so easy. Yeah, it I, mean, would. I can't imagine trying to recover after three or four days straight. Ask me. And try to add up <laughs> yeah. material. Yeah. And have you know because then you're potentially losing money from FEMA. Right. If you don't have good data collection during data. your event. Yeah. Pictures after pictures after pictures. Yeah. But you could you could collect raw data that's all 80, 90 percent reimbursable if you have the data. Right. As long as that truck is running. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. But the problem with those FEMA disaster grants, which we found before, and you probably heard some horror stories from other municipalities. You know, let's say you had five culverts wash out. Right. And you think all of them are eligible, and then FEMA starts looking at the at the specific site, and decides, oh, that's not eligible anymore. Mm -hmm. For whatever reason all of a sudden you have three sites that are eligible two sites that are not and all you have for a report is a road crew guy saying the whole crew was out all day you have no way to break that out to the satisfaction of fema and you may lose that grant money so there's reason for the data collection high reason for grants even on regular grant projects or emergency grant projects if the more you can account for the more reimbursement you'll have for match or federal grants see what they told us uh, told me that every one of them spots should be numbered. Every one of them spots should be numbered. Yeah, early on. Yeah, first yeah, thing. Early on. Every yes. culvert yeah. should be numbered. Every well, every this is in an every location. location. Right. Every any, site. Any yeah. site. That's right. Any site should be numbered. And now what we done? Okay. What we done is I got a bunch of kill tags, <laughs> and if I got a site, I put that. Somewhere where we can take a picture of it, and that that might stay there at a tree. It might stay oh, there okay. at a gray yep. state. You know, somewhere's that number will stay there on the job. Yeah. And that's how you. It's, it's, no. How, how, how far apart is the number, Roy? How far apart is the number? Yeah. If, well, just, well, you'll say site number six is three hundred feet long. Right. Something just like what Ron yeah. just said. But you're going to map a whole town that way? Yeah. Every, anything that you submit federal grant money yeah. that you want yeah. reimbursed, you have to quantify right. by site. Yeah. Culver. Oh. Culver. Yeah. yeah, we're still on the 22. Right. We just have to be 22. <laughs> yeah, right. Okay. After it happens. Right. Yeah. After the very first thing you do is right. to, to is go out and number your sites. Yeah, I was going to say, hey, well, the world is going to number before it happens. You well, no, I mean, yeah. after of course, it's it's anything that's happened. Yeah. Culver's yeah. washed out. The roads washed out. Yeah. You know, anything. Well, right, anything Singles that you think might be. Right. a mile, the yeah. little green sign. Yeah. That's what they use. Right. Yeah. And they take a picture of it, and then they go and take a picture of the right. washout or yeah. whatever it may be. And then document it. That's 200 feet that's long, right. 50 feet wide. Yeah. The depth of it. All right.
No, I thought you had document everything before everything. No, it was going to number everything in town, right? Yeah, that'd keep me busy. I'm going to say every caller. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> right, we do that in your spare time. Works. Yeah, well, I can see for emergency, right? Right, that makes sense. That's how you're going to keep track of it. Um, thank you. That's a good thing. Yeah, in terms of sort of what, where do we want to go from here with this? Well, and, and Roger, and, and, and he brought up a good point, and, and, and it's something that's going to be a tough role is where are we going to have the time? Because every time you go out there with a grader, I've got to get this done because I only got so much time, and it's going to be 80 degrees out here, and I got to get the moisture while the moisture's here. It's it's tough. It's a tough yeah. thing. You know, car cross training. Like in the pit with a loader, you can mm -hmm. put the loader in the pit and the loader, and back over you can put it. It's a tough situation. You know, you're going to put a new guy on a culvert that's got to be changed 50 feet across the road? No, you can't do that. It's, it's tough. It is tough. I know a gentleman that retired from the state out of the Morrisville garage, probably one of the best operators. Of equipment in the whole entire state, as far as the state transportation goes. He retired two years ago. He loves Westfield. Fantastic trainer. He can teach anybody anything as far as equipment goes. I'm going to reach out to him and see if he's busy or if he's got a yeah. full-time job and ask him if he would be interesting in doing a cross-training. Right. Right. Well, and then, you know, it's maybe what you what you end up doing is you take a day when he comes out to work with all of them on the grader, and you just you just take a day and go work on some roads or something. I don't take know how you one, do it. But what yeah. I would do is take one <laughs> person on the grader, the other guys continue working, and let them go out for the day, and if there is somebody steps up to play, which I hope Mark would. Yeah. And then he takes him out. I mean, I don't know, Rolly knows more about that than I can. I can tell you the best way, and it's hard, but it's true. When you're putting you're two behind. great, putting two graders together, yeah. and letting a spare man run behind you. I've done that, and I've watched guys catch on like that. Oh, is that right? Oh, yeah. hey, well, that makes sense. Sure, yeah. that makes <coughs> sense. I can name some guys that. I put, so you put come over and borrow, borrow your grader? Then? No, really, yeah. you get, you know, it's, yeah. it's, it's it's two graders and you put one, the guy that don't really know a lot about it, put him behind you, and and I'm telling you, less than a week, he'll be onto it. Greg, Greg Adams, I broke him in in the spring of the year when it was like it was last two weeks, and he come right with me to, and that guy, by the end of two weeks, he was there and he was running it alone. <coughs> but that's the best way if you What's, your, what's he running now? <coughs> I think he's in Woodbury still and running greater up is, there. Is he doing that? Yeah. So? <coughs> I knew he went to Woodbury. Uh huh? I knew he went to yeah, Woodbury. Yeah, yeah. So do we have two graders? <coughs> but you, you, you know, I, I don't know. I can't, probably should speak the L, but I think we you could sort out something. Yeah. I get, but because again, the same thing for cross training with your guys. But it is, back. it is. I never even thought of. Oh yeah. No, that makes a lot of sense. Yep. Yeah. But well, I want to get this greater thing going. I don't want to talk about it for another year. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> I'm with you. Well, well, well. Mm -hmm. Reach out to reach out to your guy yeah. and see what we can do, and then see we'll see what we can set up. Jim was another person. Jim Parody. Yeah. But. He's starting to get busy right now, and sure. we ain't going to get him. Okay. How about, uh, how about uh, Terry? Did he start it up, or is he sugaring? They're sugaring. He's another one to reach out to. Yeah. It might be some... Who else do I think of? Okay, and as you say, you can you can get out in the pit and play around with, yeah. the, with the back hole and stuff. Okay, all right, all right. Okay, we're making progress. Okay, anything else with 
road stuff right now. They changed the culvert up on McKinley Hill Saturday late afternoon. I see Jimmy come down late Saturday with a grader. Yeah. yeah. And had a hole right straight through it. It's supposed to have. And I'm already going to get through it. <laughs> <laughs> Not the top. For the doppel. Oh, <laughs> Catch you with a grader. <laughs> I know somebody called me in, and uh, so Mark went up and looked at it. And he said, "He called me. He said we better change this. We get the rain if they're saying they're going to get, yeah. and the weather's going to yeah. stay warm. That oh, and snow they, coming off the There's still a lot of snow up there. Yeah. We're going to end up losing the road. I said, "Geez, we don't want to lose the road." What's it said? There's still 112 inches or something. Yeah, a lot of snow on the mountain. Yeah. So. Yeah. We made a determination to go change yeah. that culvert out and get it done. And yeah, they okay. And they did a nice job. Yeah, and the team come down late Saturday afternoon. Yep. Yeah, I didn't. I was going, yeah. oh, there must be a reason. <laughs> <laughs> I doubt they're on joy riding in the equipment. So, right. okay. Oh, boy, Saturday was a nice day, wasn't it? <laughs> um, all the road stuff right now? Okay. Yep. That's, it's hard to say, but pocket park project update. This is last week's permit for the yeah. part-timer. This is it. Yep. Yep. Yeah. The uh, Vermont Department of Health is crafting their grant agreement. Okay. So I haven't seen that yet, but we went back and forth on a work plan for a while until they accepted that. I almost think it's a new program for them called the Quick Build Program. So if that comes into line, we'll have to get a concrete person under a contract for summer, fall, because they want this built before fall, Quick, right, okay. before winter. So that's that. There's not much to. Nope. Okay. Launch what built? Pocket, pocket park, park on the courthouse lawn. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. So. Are the benches still there, Roger? Yeah. You can get to them now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, set date for town highway discontinuances. This was deferred from last year when it was getting cold. Yeah. And now it's not cold, so we just <laughs> pick a day. There's, I don't know, six, seven sites to drive to. Yeah. And so it'll take a few hours, maybe starting at three some afternoon and get people to get out of work early if they want to. And some people will go through dinner time. But you actually have to go to each road that you're talking yep. about discontinuing. So if you want to pick a 30-day notice, so yep. it's more likely going to be June, maybe before school gets out or something. I don't know when you're. When it isn't it's snowing. Nice coffee. Yeah, June. <laughs> when it isn't snowing. <laughs> yeah, hopefully. <clears throat> Snow tonight. So, uh, unless you're, that's your, there's a cop for everybody there. Yeah, some Same boards, thing. some boards are doing it on Saturday. Yeah, it's straight right up. Okay, so. You do it on Saturday morning sometimes, or you can do it on late afternoon, middle of the week. What works for Whatever everybody. your schedule is. But I wouldn't start much later than three because of the driving around you got to do. Right. You know, we'll do it at noon, can we? Do it noon to three or? Well, well but they got all people rolling. working They're right. Well, yeah, you will. Start next week or the week after, maybe. I think you're being ignored. <laughs> Let's look, yeah, so your next yeah, meeting so is three point geez. One, two, three, twentieth. Do you think you will have a special Working meeting to sign a warning to pay off as a work session topic? Just yeah, to sign we'll do that, yeah. So yeah. as long as you're gonna do that, then I don't okay. have any problem. I just have to backtrack thirty days. So if you if you okay. pick the first week in June then and you're gonna meet uh, Friday. Right. So right. That, we can do the that's notice. plenty of notice okay. time, yeah. What what Rolly and Dave, what works for you for timing? Want to do it on a Saturday morning or want to do a three in the afternoon or three in the pick, afternoon. Pick a three in the afternoon with a rain date of that Saturday or something? Sounds good to me too. Okay. What date in the first week of June would you like? <sighs> Let's see, it's supposed to rain here. What does it say? 
<laughs> Check out the weather forecast that far ahead. Yes. A nice sunny one, a little breeze. They can't about sixty-five it day by day. <laughs> <laughs> mm. The first, the 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 the. the First part of June will work better for me because that's yeah. No, we, we got, got time got to do that. Look at look at look at that first week in June, yeah. right? So we can get while they're still in school. Anybody care Tuesday or Thursday? Thursday works good for me. Okay, let's. All right, we're narrowing down June sixth. Three. June sixth at three. And if you do Move run the problems, our... we can continue it to another day. Right. But you have to right. open the it up. Thing. Right. What time? Three, three o'clock. Be clear. Start here, and we're going to go look at all the discontinuance roads. Are these back roads were on mostly. Well, part of it's MRGP driven, you know, where you now you have to look at your class fours, and yeah. some of the class fours you don't. They're short driveways to somebody's garage. Those kind of roads, Munson Road, for example. Yeah. Other ones are people have asked us to get rid of the road. Yeah. Uh, Richardson Road's yeah. come up a couple times off Davis Hill. Really? Yeah. To get rid of? Yeah. 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 That, that oh, owner's yeah. interested. I'm going up to talk to him. That's a good flex up there. So we might as well ask the question. We've heard more about wanting to be discontinued, but if we actually start the formal process, then they'll have to either consent or object. But yeah, that's only one hill, so the whole. Right. Yeah, it's a half a mile of And he waste. doesn't like us down there at 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock in the morning when he's there. Yeah. Yeah, he's much at all most of the time. Yeah, it's not. It's very sure much a lot. We'll have to go. But you know, the notice issue is the biggest one because everybody that has an interest in the road has to get written notice. So that's a kind yeah, of an right. expensive venture. But once you set the date, we'll get the notice out, and yep, then okay. whoever cares June will show up. Three, well, whoever right. cares will show up. Yeah. yeah. Even if there's an objection, the board is still weighing the public good and benefit and welfare. It's not an individual's good public welfare. It's the community's welfare and public goods. <coughs> you can still have an objection and go forward with it if you want. Okay. Well, if a dirt road road, we'll take my pickup. <coughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that's right. We're going to be rough. It's going to be rough. <laughs> okay. Hang on. Anything else? For old business? I've got a couple yeah, quick things. Yeah, i got, got one, too. Yeah. Go ahead, Ron. Um, Maryland so far is still interested in the okay. Solid Waste Management District okay. position, which is open right now. Harold Bailey resigned last year. So okay, nobody else has come forward. She appears to be very interested in participating at the monthly meeting. Okay. <laughs> My granddaughter. <laughs> ah, what okay. June, yeah. wrote it down somewhere. So we're June, June, June 6th? Thursday, oh. June 6th. Have we got a voter ran or anything? Yeah, we got an appointment. Have an appointment. Three o'clock. Works for me. Works for me. Works for me. Okay. Three o'clock when? No, no. Oh, no, he's still at three o'clock. Right there. Three o'clock on June sixth is when we're going to do oh, okay. the discontinued roads. Oh, and down my the God. You get to three or this four notes, good. Roger. Then you know it's time. But we're talking about appointment. <laughs> yeah, Maryland that, to the solid yeah. waste. Yeah. Oh, okay. So we just need so a motion. A second. Second. Okay. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Okay. Really work. Uh, Diane Stoney is the animal control officer. She's the lead officer. She's interested in pursuing her educational uh, benefit, I guess, except there's not enough money in the town budget for ACOs to, there's some money, but there's not enough for this particular training. This is a training down in Rhode Island, which is the... Rhode Island? Uh, yep. Yeah. It's a training down in Rhode Island, which is the um, uh, animal abuse training certificate so it's two 40-hour classes and she would be certified at that she's not certified now and she does respond to those cases right and we have one going on right now yes and there's some benefit to Hyde Park there's probably more benefit to the county because I don't there I don't think there is any certified animal abuse case 
animal cruelty officers. Um, the town probably could ask Roger, but I don't know if he'd be interested if he had access to her, if he had another complaint in the other towns. So uh, anyway, that's the, I told the, I told Diane, I said, we don't have, you know, it's like $2,000, I think, for the whole week. And it takes two, two weeks? It's two 40-hour classes to get certified to be animal cruelty So you're thousand dollars Yeah, this is phase one. There's another similar one that happens once a year throughout New England. So is she asking for two or four thousand dollars each week? She's on, right now. She's only asking for module A, which is two thousand okay. dollars. But you know, module A is going to. She won't complete it without B, B, which is another right. two thousand right. dollars. Well, it depends. If it's in Burlington, it'll be cheaper. So this, this includes five hundred dollars for her you know, a room down there. So being leave town, why don't you draw a letter to the other seven towns in the county and ask them if they would want to donate? If there's like to chip donate. in, ask Roger as well. Yeah, I mean, she, you know, we, you, we have some money that we could, you know, within the budget because they don't go to a lot of training. We have like right. 1,500, so yep. there's like 500 left. But well, because yeah. of the benefit to the others, it's almost like there should be a group cost. Yeah, why don't we see if we can get everybody to pitch in? And then we'd have, then we'd have to let her do that under their dime, obviously. And, yeah. But some of those cases can be costly. We're in, yeah. we're in one right yeah. now that's about $1,000 and running because of some uh, yeah. criminal charges. So we took the dogs and those are, dogs are being kenneled while the criminal case is ongoing and the judge won't let the dogs go. So we're kind of stuck in this triangle of, we want to let the dogs go, but the, yeah. we can't. So I guess what I would like. kicked in $250. Yeah. Yeah, and they would have access you know, to some. commitment like yeah, that actually would stay for so many years. Yeah, we don't I have that many wanna, cases, maybe, maybe two a year, or something, and but the other they get done in the same year's level. time. Like, you know? That's right. Well, yeah, you're, you're right. You know, Roger like, says it's right, and ask for a commitment from her that you'll keep doing the job X amount of time, or if she leaves, yeah. she'll reimburse us part of the cost or something. Yeah, you, could, you could ask that, because yeah. she's getting a benefit. We could, the other way oh, is yeah, just she, not pay for the whole thing, and she uses her own money for the difference. Yeah, but I, I can see that, I can see asking the county because it, it, she, she could work the county on these. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. and having one person in the county yeah. probably works. So I'll, I'll send out a little field to see if anybody's into it for so help her get out there and take it down knowing that they'll have access to a certified so, officer is, is a benefit because you don't necessarily want somebody untrained dealing with a potentially high cost event. <clears throat> yeah. Almost yeah, every yeah, animal cruelty case is ends up not, that way, not right. nice. So yeah. this year it's in Ohio. No, Rhode, Rhode Island. Rhode Island this right. year. But it's a New England, like they have District 1, you know, and they try to set it around New England. So if you get one closer to you, it's yeah, cheaper. Right, right. Yeah. This one just happens to be right, a little yeah, far right. away for a commute. Yeah. All right, I'll do that, and then we'll see if we yeah, can pull so something we'll together. Yeah, yep. we'll take it from there. That's all. Yeah. See what we can get, okay. okay. I, I got an email from Ed Webster, and one of them, I, I kind of lean on him side, and the other one, I don't know even what he's talking about. Uh, what in the world is going on with the bylaws? It's been 20 months since we handed them in. I was yeah, just going right. to ask that. Yeah. That seems a yeah, bit she, long. Yeah, I agree. That's on <laughs> us to get this. Yeah, it is. So there's two parts to that. One is about 20 months ago, maybe 18 months ago, Ed received a strike version of his bylaws. Big black. Fire department should not be doing this. They could do this. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. Right? That's been a long time. Yeah. So the board at the same time decided to do the personnel policy because that's out of date now. Laws have changed. Plus now we have added in the union thing, which distracted us for six months. And they were they were coupled together. So we yeah. didn't want to do the bylaws without the personnel right. policy. And we we're trying to work with the town attorney to figure out what Ed should be doing as chief and what the select board really needs to be doing as select board. And the, and the town attorney's first draft of that struck out a lot of things that the fire department had approved in their department bylaws that were really select board duties. So from that point on, we were trying to do it all together. And about three months ago, Ed was getting frustrated. He said, this is taking too long. I said, Ed, we have three pieces to this puzzle. You have the blacked out bylaws. You can take what's left and adopt new bylaws for the department, go to your officers and go back to the board for approval because that's the process we have. They do their department bylaws and the select board approves it. The things that are blacked out fell into two categories. One was shift to the town personnel policy, which we're working on with Karen Stackpole and that legal office, and that's going to take a while to, to sugar out. Hopefully by the summer we'll be done with that. 
then we're sort of half waiting for the legislature to finish because as soon as we adopt a personnel policy, they adopt yeah, something, something different that conflicts with ours. But anyway, by the summer, we'll have the personnel policy. The third part was the job descriptions. The town attorney didn't want those in either bylaw or policy. So Ed was supposed to take those back with his officer and just have a folder of job descriptions that they, we don't really care about those mm -hmm. too much. So the, the job descriptions ha are all Ed. He has to go to his officers, make sure that his positions are supported by a job description and that they're all good with that. And they'll give us a copy, like an FYI right, copy. Right, okay. The bylaws, Ed can start just with that blacked out version and adopt a new Hyde Park Fire Department bylaw and adopt them and send them to the select board for review. Because this, this, this in the blacked out, what they have left is what they legally can do yeah. and what they're legally responsible for. So that's what they need to do, and maybe that's not being clear to Ed. Well, it was coupled before. We were trying to do both at the, sort of the same yeah. time, waiting in case the town attorney did something with a policy that Ed could do. But I, I just don't. If Ed really wants to move forward, he can move forward now with the blacked out version. He can adopt that and then bring that to. Or some version of it and bring it back to you for mm -hmm. review and approval. Mm -hmm. Okay. Eventually, we're going to get the fire department blacked out sections and the union contract and all the legislative changes into a new personnel policy, but that won't be till summer. Okay. Anyway, right. But, okay. All right. So that's so how that we're, lives in something. It was confusing to be because we were trying to keep them together. Yeah. And I just, I, I was, if Ed's anxious about it, yeah. Yeah, which yeah. I yeah, he's yeah let them go with the bylaw only. And if we do find something during the personnel policy review that Ed can do, we'll just send it to him yeah. and tell him to adopt his new bylaw, you know, with that part in it. Okay. Now I wish I had my computer with me. He had something in there about the policy about the selling equipment. He said he sold the air packs to somebody and then got a got a bunch of grief for selling it. Yeah. There's a policy that the board has for the sale of equipment, the select board has. Anything over $500 for sale has to be presented to the board and documented. Anything okay. under $500, department heads can just do and dispense with it. Can you run off that policy and send it to him? Yeah. If you yeah. Would, he just didn't, he didn't do it the right way. Okay. He probably could have gotten appro approval, but we just <laughs> needed to know about it. That's all. So it's not a, it's like a memo to the board. Yeah. I'm proposing to sell this. Who do you sell into? Montgomery. No, yeah, another right. department. Now I get. Oh, I thought it was Montgomery. My question Here is. Here we go. My <laughs> question. Your You're question right. is. Huh? No, Roger's right. He, they sold it to Montgomery. Yeah, but listen to what Dave's going to say. Oh, I I know exactly. My confusion is if they're not good enough for High Park, why are they good enough for Montgomery? Montgomery. It's <laughs> exactly where I went. It's like well, I said. I see. You're right. No, because I thought. Uh, I thought when they came, yeah, because you get at the end of the time period, grand, it's because not right. they were time expired, right, and not certified. Certified. Now, now get mixed up with the air tank that we approved for North Ride Park that we're going to be out of. Out of service. I may be Roger. I that may be. Okay, be. remember we that voted on that, and okay. we made at the same time the imager. Yeah. And they'd yeah. said it'd be yeah. at least two exactly. years, they wouldn't need that right. money, so we were supposed to put okay. it aside for them. I guess I've got the, the air okay. tank. This is Hyde Park. That's just the air, t just the tanks yeah. Yeah. to be replaced. Okay. So, but, but you still have a good point. Yeah. But, but still. I knew that was going to come. You still yeah. have a good point why they were good for them. So, had for, for Hyde Park, did we approve new tanks? No. I know. So, so these are this just. This is just North Hyde Park, as I know. Right, that we did the tanks? tanks for. But what Ed's just sold is what? This is a while back. So they, they got a whole new set, a complete set of air packs. For the, the whole set. For the grant. With the grant money. Okay. okay. It's two years. For two, Hyde two, Park. Two, two, yeah, that was with grant money. I think it's two or three years. That didn't cost us nothing. How much did he get for the ones he sold to? Uh, Over two hundred twenty-five hundred or something. He's in the thousands, yeah. So what happened to that money? It goes into his equipment. Into his fund. budget, right? To the equipment reserve fund. Yeah, because they, they got their new packs with the grant money. That brings up one okay. more question here. Okay, I will find out that these things at uh, next meeting. I'll answer for those. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I think we yeah, had. They were just upgrading, so it said okay. Yeah. Yeah. We had we had to match ten percent of it. Okay. He did come to us on that. Now that, uh, that, Ken Harvey. Just really scared me. 
is I'm starting to think like him, and that just really scared I knew, me. I knew. <laughs> I knew <laughs> so exactly. Uh oh. <laughs> I well, I can't hardly uh, money that extra eight thousand was it? We put four yeah, we or put twelve thousand, four, four and right. three, we put, <clears throat> and we put three in the uh, for the fire department. Ed asked if I can go in the equipment, the equipment fund, not the equipment, not the uh, capital capital fund. There's one for apparatus and there's one for general equipment and repairs. There's two oh, different okay. fire funds. Yeah, he right. wanted it in the equipment. Yeah, equipment and yeah. building yeah. repairs that, type. Okay. Right. Yeah, that yeah. makes perfect sense to me. Yeah. Yeah, because that's, that, that's, that's, where that's it's a good place anyway. to put that kind of money right. anyway. That's right. where it's going anyway. Well, it could have gone into the uh, into the capital side of it. But it goes into the equipment. No, yeah. when he's talking right. equipment, he's talking about small right. equipment. Oh, you mean the air packs and stuff? Yeah, radios right. and stuff right. like that. Right, radios. Yeah. the smaller stuff, yeah. right. Well, that's equipment. I call it yeah, fire trucks. Okay. Okay. Anything else, Mr. Fireman? No, nope, I'm done. You're I'm done. I've, I've been assaulted enough for one. <laughs> <laughs> so both the firemen have access to that money. I'm losing track of what money you have. Well, the, the money, way. the money, Ken Harvey's money, or thirty thousand a year. Right. Did it go into both departments or just? There was an extra amount of money that went into the equipment reserve. The three thousand you're talking about. Right. But the both departments have access to the fire equipment reserve fund. Yeah. Right. Okay. That's how that works. Okay. We don't designate. We don't pre-designate it. Right. right. No. Okay. No. Okay. I just. All right. So it's the fund they both. It's a by request okay. use type thing gotcha. from either department. Okay. Yep. Okay. Over time, you might want to account for that to make sure the split's good, but right now it's not yeah. an okay. It's kind of new. Okay. No, I, just, I can sleep in it there, so. No, well, you're, well, don't worry, it will be. All right. Okay, that's why anybody you got anything good else? Information. We're good? <laughs> We're no, good? it's okay. We're good? Anything new? Ooh, good. No, I was going to ask about the bylaws. I have one quick okay. executive session thing. Oh, okay. Sure. Well, I just wanted to let you know that uh, May 7th we have a village meeting.